And we'll throw my energy drink can in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if they even actually recycle anymore, who knows? Oh, hey. Once again, it's your boy Daddy from Triple D Gaming coming at you with another FS19. You know how we do it. Let's get to it. Alright, guys. So, got a little project for today. So we just ran up here to the gas station to grab our truck. Oh, uh, and guys, uh, my 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 steering wheel. Okay. Uh, so I figured it out. It was it was real tough. Now now it's super easy. Um, I did figure out a way to make it to where it wasn't super hard. So now it turns real easy. Uh, let's get to it. And now we got a little more control. So we're going to head down to the farm. And um, I had a company come in and they stripped some ground, um, ripped the grass off of it, and we sold it to the neighboring farm as sod across the highway uh, but we want to do some landscaping to make some flat ground for placing some buildings down here at the farm so we went ahead and stripped the grass off it got a little rutted up from from being damp with no grass on it now, but I gotta tell you guys, <laughs> I am loving this wheel. It's great. Yeah, that's our project over there where we stripped the ground. We got time to do the straps. Unstrap it. All right. I know you guys got tired of watching grass cutting, so. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to strip that out of there. We're going to have to finish building some roads here, too. Eventually. Man, this thing is fast.
I never grabbed the, uh, oh, I know that. I was going to say, I don't know where my buckets are for that excavator. No other buckets. Down the road. Oh, oh. Where did that log come from? You know, let's just put this in front of the shop for right this moment. Alright guys, now... Yeah, they got it all rotted up. Now we... We're gonna use this for hogging the majority of it out. Oh, you guys haven't even seen this yet, huh? Uh, I don't know if you remember the... the the mountain we had there, but we did out Uncle Alvin, he's been busy up here, guys. Did some blasting. Blasted that whole hillside out of there. So now it's all just loadable material. We're just gonna walk this down there. A little overkill, but uh well, we're going to use it for the deep side. Doopy doopy doo. Oops. What's <laughs> up, bud? Going for a ride. What do you guys think? You think that's Uncle Alvin? You think that's uh, somebody else? Let me know in the comments. Check it out. That's, that's amazing. That's awesome right there. Makes it makes an 11 look tiny. We could probably scoop that up. <laughs> um, so, there's a new mod for that 11. It's for, uh, yeah, delete trees. I think I'm going to grab that. Right, let's park this here. Middle stop. All right, let's hop out of this bad boy. Matter of fact, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> he's running away. Let me put that ladder. All right, now Uncle Alvin's got this truck filled with uh, stone, so we're going to dump that real quick. Mm. 
<laughs> my man's hands are, are broke. There's his teeth. Yeah, that ain't good. Yeah, I'm quiet, but he's definitely been busy up here. One of these days we'll come up and uh, do some work up here, and it will work. We'll work with them. Maybe we'll make some concrete. Because we can do that. This thing's so big, I'm probably going to have to. Yes. It's making us some serious cash in a hurry. It's a lot of stone in that thing. $157,904, guys. <laughs> Not bad for one load. $157,000. That's making money. Okay. Oh, let's, let's get some work done here. We got, we got, we got towns to build. And Day Day Bill, Mayor Day Day, taking charge. Ah, Let's see if this causes ruts. It might, it might actually uh, smooth them out for us, actually. But we're not here to smooth it, we're here to dig it. Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was sinking in a soft spot there. All right. This is going to be a good couple episodes here. This will be my first time using this guy here. Um, they used to look better. I don't know. I I took and made my um, uh, field of view a little bit bigger just so it looked better in cab. But I think outside of cab, it doesn't look so hot. Oh, hello. Um, so guys, I don't know if I told you these sticks right here. Um, I, I ordered us the Thrustmasters, the, what, T1600s, 1600 M's. Uh, so they will be in next month on the 4th, in between the 4th and the 26th, I believe it was, which was... Uh, over a month for shipping. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, we'll actually be able to sit here and mimic this. And uh, I'll, considering I do that in real life, um, actually having the sticks will make it great. It'll make it feel more realistic, and I'll be able to do some smoother moves. So I can't wait. I'm excited.
The only thing is with this guy's, I don't think you can use that blade in the front there. I wish you could. I need to sit there and blade, blade everything on. That would be great. This controller keeps bleeding off too. Uh, look, it's smooth by itself right now. Alright, um. I don't believe that you can move that. That's what I like about this too, guys. See that boom? That boom actually bends right there. That's great. It is great. Yeah, I just wanted to use this just for the simple fact that I haven't used it before. Change it up. Something a little different. I'm sure you guys like different. trying to do now guys is to get that to tilt left right and it, it's just not doing it the other excavator don't do it so what that's telling me is if I want that to do that I'm probably gonna have to mess with the key bindings but that'll mess everything else up so we're gonna leave it alone and we'll just dig with this normally if we need a side tilt bucket, we have the ball boom over there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, we could use a rock truck, guys, but I wanted to use something different. Um, we haven't used these before. And what I like about this is this is actually like uh, an actual American style dump bucket. This guy right here. So it goes up on one single piston. In real life, if you're not dumping on level ground with this, it will roll over. I had one roll over not too long ago, actually. I wasn't driving, yeah. Somebody I went rolled one over. Alright. So we're going to use this one. Um, that little excavator can't reach that high to load this one. Um, so we'll use the Volvo to load this one. And we're going to use this, this one here for the little excavator to load. Uh, this is a belly, belly dump. Belly dump. That little excavator should should be able to reach up in there. We'll leave our doors open for now. <laughs> oh no, guys! I guess we'll start. And we'll start right here. We'll start dishing this little island out right there. Alright. Man, I, 
Yeah, guys, I, I really can't wait until we get our, our sticks in. I'm hoping they come in sooner. But it never works that way for me. Whenever I order something, it always comes later than it's supposed to. But we'll see. I'm sure it'll take me a little bit to get all get them all set up and get the, the bindings and everything worked out on them. good. This one here you can actually dump it and it actually dumps. <laughs> that that Volvo, it don't work like that. You actually gotta have the bucket like this for it to dump. If you try to uncrumble it like this, it just doesn't dump. So that's a plus. That, that's already a plus right there. you could put that blade down. At least set it down while you're digging. I mean, to be able to use it would be great, but at least, at least if you could set it down. truck's pretty shiny, right? hard to tell angles on this game. Do you actually got to fill them uh, separately? Let's see. I wasn't paying attention. First time using this too. Back independent from the front, I believe. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. That's, that's how it's looking to me.
Hello. <laughs> I guess so. You know, that might be able to use the mouse to uh, bend that the other way. I didn't try that. Uh, our town definitely needs some more roads, guys. Um, but we need, we need, we need a shop. We need a farm to work our operation from. So we gotta, we gotta get that done. Buzzing right along with this bucket. I, I just real I really can't wait till we get them sticks. I'm like a kid in a candy store, I'm excited. It's gonna be great for this. It would be nice for logging. I actually have um, a couple different sell points we can sell dirt at. Uh, the only one I have on the map right now is where we just sold this stuff. So that's where it's where we're going to take our dirt to. I don't know how much you get for dirt. Well, as you guys can see, um, it's not really nice terrain there for placing buildings. That's why we're digging this out. We're going to try to get it level there. Uh, so we have that building there. We're going to try to pop a building or so right here where we're digging this out. I left that there for now. I actually could have just cut that clean across there. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe up where up there where the uh, D11 and that is. Our road's probably going to come across there. And then around front of the rock quarry. And then... Uh, I don't know, we might be able to put some cows or something up there above the buildings here. We'll see how it goes. Forever changing your mind on this game, I can tell you that. <laughs> That's what's great about No Man's Land, too. It don't matter who's playing it. Uh... It's always going to be different. Everybody's game is going to be different. Uh -oh.
you know what, now that I uh, unbent that boom, I guess we, pro we probably could have got away with uh, loading, it, loading it into the big truck here with the uh, little estimated here. It probably would have reached. That's okay. Yeah, because this thing looks cool. It's awesome. Ah, I did it again. Are you serious? All right. Full concentration mode. We're going to get rid of that field there, too. Get rid of, <laughs> get rid of the, the weeds in it. It looks like junk. Things actually make a pretty nice work of uh, the lower stuff there. As long as we keep it on grade as we're scooping it up. I just don't want to turn or move. That red thing there, that's for knocking your windows out. Like if you rolled over or you got stuck in water, like a lake or something in the machine, you guys like a little hammer with metal, you grab it and knock your windows out. So you can get out. Why is that not moving? I need to push myself backwards here. There we go, like that. I didn't want to move. I don't move forwards. I just don't want to move backwards. I forgot to see what the capacity on this truck was. What is it? I'm curious. Is that the belly dunk? It's a belly dump too. Huh. 
uh, six, six, uh, <coughs> 60,000. What was this one? Alright. Good. Alright guys, I'm probably going to do a little time lapse, just so this don't run forever here, if I can get moving. Or, I could do a little bit more, um, and, and then just start the next video and just time lapse the whole thing, uh, just so we can get done. I don't like to make the videos too long because it takes. I don't know why. Everybody else I've talked to said that it uh, doesn't take that long. But if I make the video 40, 40 to 50 minutes long, it takes, I mean, hours, like five hours or more to upload. So. That's if I, if I don't compress them. I usually use a uh, handbrake and compress the video. Yes, it takes like an hour and a half to compress it, but whenever I do upload it to YouTube, it doesn't take five hours, six hours, whatever, whatever the case may be. All right, now, just wanted to get the thin edge with these uh, little excavators. And then the stuff there behind me, we're going to use the big boy for it. I just wish it didn't take so long to dump out of the bucket. Uh, yeah, in real life, boom, get this little slam down like that, it's empty. Like that. See that? See how long I held it over there and it's still a full bucket. It's definitely far from realistic. Still fun now. For sure we're on the fun. Once I get these sticks, man, it's gonna be great. I have, um, I don't have a webcam per se. I got a, a, a Xbox Connect, which I think I can use. Um, as a webcam and uh, but right now I'm just using Xbox uh, game bar oh. hello ha. I'm using the Xbox controllers played on I'm using the Xbox game bar for recording and uh, I don't think I can do 
a webcam on the screen at the same time as recording a game with the Xbox Game Bar. I would have to get OSB or uh, something in that nature. And that's a whole nother animal I gotta tackle. Uh, I haven't been able to upload any content now because I've been uh, rearranging the, the gaming area. Got a couple of different monitors. Uh, then we got the steering wheel and we had to mess with that for a while to get it working properly. It's been it's been a whole bunch of stuff holding me up from getting content to you guys. That on top of work. I think we got the back of that. Fullwood ain't let me put any more back there. Starting to get into the heavier stuff here, so maybe we'll go ahead and jump to the other side. I don't know, I like this little excavator. It's it's pretty good. It holds a good bit in the bucket. I mean it, it's smaller than that one, but the bucket the capacity in the bucket's not bad. Um, actually, how much does that actually hold? Let me get a full bucket. So, 16? A little over 16? I'm not sure what the biggest bucket on the other one holds. I'll look into it. That's it, we're full. Alright, so I'm gonna go dump this, guys. And then, uh, I guess we'll call it. I just hate turn this off. <coughs> Can't never get enough, to, enough done in one video without time lapsing it. I mean, I've been time time lapsing the crap out of it here lately, so. Just trying to give you guys a a full video without time lapsing. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Here we go. Yes, I got two monitors on either side of the the middle one that I had. Um, unfortunately, I can play the game. Uh, I keep hitting my mic. Um, I can play the game and have the middle screen as the front windshield and then have the other two monitors as either side windows, which I was hoping for so I could just look over instead of having to pan over each time with using the steering wheel. It's kind of a pain. Uh, but obviously, I got a bigger screen in the middle. I could I couldn't afford no other screen actually. Uh, but it had some safety points through work, so I went ahead and spent them on two smaller monitors. But they're just they're way too small to actually play the game with. It stretches it out too. It just makes it weird. But what I can do is use those for chat if I do live stream or something, so that'll work. I 
to see here. I can guarantee you we get less for dirt than what we get we got for a rock. Yeah, we gotta empty them separately too. It's the first time I ever used this trailer. Twenty-four thousand. That ain't bad for some dirt. It's definitely not bad for some dirt. Uh, it's not one to line up though. I have to get the boys to move this stuff around back here. After we get some landscaping done. Why is it not letting me dump that back trailer? Yeah, it's coming for another. Yeah, it's great. The steering wheel is this. I can turn it with one finger now. Like, I was really having to yank one, like, double-handed. And, uh, because I don't have, I didn't have it secured with the front two, uh, screw-down things. So the wheels wanting to pop off the table and everything. Because I was really having to force it. I'm glad I got that taken care of, got that fixed. Big difference. Why is it not letting me dump that bad trailer? Do I have to do tips at back or something? Uh, tip side front. Oh, okay. All right. I see it now. You actually, you actually have to switch that. There we go. I did not know that. Obviously, right? There it be. Open this puppy up in here. Here does Jake break bark here. Tell my rock truck at work used to be until it broke down and now it's a Jake break just don't they don't work like it used to. Alright guys, so that's it, uh, until the next video, so if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button, if you want to see what's coming, what's next, hit that subscribe button, and I'm um, out.